So we're here in Amboseli with some wild elephants, some of our friends and study subjects. And today we want to talk about elephant dung. So elephants eat a lot. They build these huge bodies out of plants and it takes a lot of food to do that. We have estimated that elephants eat about 18 to 20 hours in a day, depending on how nutritious their food is. You can see how much elephants eat and you can see they do it pretty constantly. The good thing for us is that elephants do loads of other things at the same time as eating, but it's a background activity for them. Basically, if they're awake, they're eating. Whatever goes in has to come out again. And that has a really big effect on the ecosystems that elephants live in. They are what we call ecosystem engineers. Elephants, when they're born, they're suckling milk from their mothers. But they learn about the plant foods that they can eat and they learn about how to eat them from watching other elephants, from picking up bits that mum drops or from reaching up into her mouth and smelling and tasting what's going on. And they start doing that from a very young age, from like two or three months old, they'll start experimenting, even though they're taking most of their calories from their mother's milk. And that's really, really important for them and absolutely crucial for their survival until they're two. By the age of six months, you'll find them feeding pretty regularly and they'll just be tasting different plants. What you find though is that it takes them a long time to learn the processing skills that they need. For some grasses, elephants kick up the roots because that's where most of the sugar and most of the energy is. And learning to do that behavior takes calves quite a long time. Elephants eat lots of different kinds of plant foods. The elephants that live in the Central African forests eat a lot of fruit. Elephants in Amboseli eat a lot of grass because that's what's available. But elephants are just like humans, they need a balanced diet. These guys couldn't survive by living on this all year round. They have to move across their habitats and use different kinds of resources. And that's something that's true for elephants across Africa. Elephants are not like cows or goats or antelope. They're not ruminants. So they don't have a second stomach and a complicated digestive system. They're much more like horses. They rely on eating a lot, taking relatively little out of their food, and then passing through the rest. Elephants need to spend so much time eating because they don't take very much nutrition out of their food. They rely on high throughputs, we call it. So they eat a lot, they make a lot of dung, and they're continuously putting new stuff into their system. So here we have a full-sized elephant dung. And this is obviously an old one, which is why I'm touching it. Um, but you can see if I break this open, it's kind of tough. It's all like straw. And this is because this is all the grass the elephants are eating. This is a non-digestible parts of it. Lots of fiber in this one. And you can see the grass seeds in here. So this dung has been kind of baked in the sun. It's really dried out. But sometimes what you find is that you find plants actually start growing out of this because this is a nice little bit of fertilizer ready deposited for seeds to start germinating. So sometimes when you break them open, you find germinating seeds. It's also not uncommon to find that the dung gets pulled apart like this. And this can happen when animals like baboons search through looking for insects that are feeding on the dung. If you broke this open and you were with forest elephants, you'd see this would be full of seeds. And there's actually some certain species of plants where the trees grow better if they've passed through the digestive tract of an elephant. So if you take elephants out of an ecosystem, this seed dispersal capacity that they have gets really reduced and it really changes how plant communities develop and establish. In the rainy season here in Amboseli, you can see mushrooms growing out of the dung. It's quite rare in this ecosystem because of all the salt that we have in the soil, but it's really, really common elsewhere. And in Congo, where I used to work, you would find a pile of dung like this with tree saplings growing out of it because it's, the trees actually get embedded and this is the first soil that they encounter. It's really rich in nutrients. Because elephants aren't taking a lot of the nutrients out, plants can put roots in and establish much more. You can even see on this dung here, there's a whole little set of an ecosystem growing up. There's flies laying eggs in here. There'll be dung beetles coming along, taking bits away for their own reproduction. 
So when an elephant deposits a dung pile like this, what they're doing is they're depositing more plant matter back onto an area. And that's the stuff that helps build soils. So it's a habitat for insects. You'll find other animals rootling through to find those insects and get the protein that's there. But you get these basically areas where you end up with soil breaking down. And so this is part of the nutrient recycling that goes on in an ecosystem. Here is a much fresher dung, and you can see it's kind of glistening. This is like how it comes out. It's all moist and wet. And sometimes you can actually see parasites in here. It's one of the ways that people can gauge the health of an elephant population to look at parasite loads in fresh dung like this. We can also take DNA from the mucus that surrounds each bolus. We also count elephants this way, um, where, where you are working in areas where you can't see them and we don't know them, unlike the Ambaseli population. You can walk transects, count the amount of dung, and then you calculate elephant density because of that. It's a bit tricky because no one really knows how often elephants make dung because it can vary a lot depending on what they're eating and, and where they're traveling and what else is happening with them. It doesn't smell bad, it smells kind of sweet. Usually you find the elephant dung smells of what they've been eating. So I can tell when they've been feeding on acacias, I can tell when they're feeding on different plants. This smells kind of sweet, so this is just grass that they've been eating at the moment.